This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Domain.com. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the episode of Ask the Buffalo. I, as I sit in this couch, am John Rettinger. This is a show where you can ask me any question you've got from all the technology. Don't know what tablet to get. Not sure if you should get a smartwatch. Don't know why it burns when you pee. This is the place that you can ask. Let's go ahead and jump right in. First question comes from Irod Aroni, who asks at John Four Lakers, what do you think the future of Android Wear smartwatches in general? I think to future them, they have to find a more utility than just being notification uh, accessories on your wrist. Uh, I think once we get past that point, I think we'll start to see smartwatches really start to take off. We're really just at the very early stages of what smartwatches are going to be. I've got a Moto 360 on my wrist. It's useful, I can ask it. Okay, Google, probably just set all your phones off. Uh, and I can ask it whatever I want, and it'll tell me that's handy to have, uh, but it's a limited screen size, limited power, it's also limited functionality. I'm not sure what that killer feature is going to be, but that's to be a reason why people want a smartwatch other than just getting notifications. What can it do differently than the phone in your pocket? I think once that question gets answered, uh, we'll start to see the next evolution. I do think though what's gonna help usher that in is the next gen smartwatch, which is gonna have faster processors, more RAM, higher rest screens. Next comes from at C underscore Foster5 at John Ford Lakers. How do you grow a YouTube channel without spending money on expensive tech to cover? It's so hard to build an audience. Hashtag has to be. Yes, it is ridiculously hard to build an audience. Uh, I had the benefit of just starting early when there weren't that many people out there doing technology reviews. Uh, I'm not sure that I would be able to build an audience um, today at all or even get some sort of notice out there. Uh, I will say we've got a whole playlist uh, of advice videos that I've done over the past years. If you want to take a look at that, Link to that down below. Otherwise, you go to the YouTube channel. There's a whole advice playlist there. Uh, but the short version is you don't have to spend a lot of money to be a tech reviewer. I know you see some of the big tech reviewers out there that go out and buy 30 different versions of the Apple Watch and every single band and every single color. Uh, that's never been what we're about. We just don't really do that. Um, you don't have to do that either. Now, you can talk about rumors. You can talk about trends in the industry. You can give your impressions on keynotes. Uh, you can give recaps of keynotes. Uh, make sure you're properly tagging your videos. Um, things like that are a nice way to sort of start talking about the newer product. I haven't go out and spend them. Uh, you don't have to have a crazy camera equipment. Uh, you can use whatever's on your phone. You can use a built-in microphone. You don't have to have sort of a 4K production studio uh, to put out videos. You know, a view counts as a view no matter you whether you did it with a 4K camera or did it with your 1080p front-facing camera on your phone, whatever it might be. So hopefully that helps get you started. Let me stop real fast and thank our peeps at Domain.com. It's the place to go when the next great idea hits you, like in the middle of the night. It's one-stop shopping for all your domain name and web hosting email needs. Domain.com wants to hook you up with a pretty sick offer. Save 20% on domain names and web hosting when you use coupon code TECHNOBUFFALO. It's all one word in caps at Domain.com's checkout. When you think domains, think Domain.com. And last but definitely not least, our friend RedSox2009 asks at John for Lakers. With a change to Samsung devices, not having movable batteries and expandable memory uh, hurt them or help them? Uh, I think initially it's going to hurt the perception, but I think they are going to sell between an ass ton and a butt ton of Galaxy S6 and Galaxy S6 edges. Um, when you look at the people that are going to be annoyed, they're going to be annoyed initially. But once the next phone comes out, uh, that's going to be people are going to be used to. Uh, so I don't think it's going to hurt them really very much moving forward. You've done a lot of things to help make up for it. You've got larger built-in storage size. You've got two wireless charging standards. Uh, so I don't think it's going to hurt them as much as people think. Uh, but the sales numbers certainly tell a story. But I do think Samsung's got two gigantic hits on their hands. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Give the thumbs up for questions because I like talking to you. It's an excuse to sit here and just talk tech with some friends. If you want to see more Techno Buffalo videos, hit the big subscribe button. We've got a ton of new videos coming up seemingly every day. Uh, we'd love to have you stick around. Until next time, John Rettinger, see you guys next video. Bye-bye.